Now we're going to talk about straight up uh, proofs when it comes to geometry and we're specifically dealing with two dimensional geometry. Okay. Now this is the problem laid out in point four. The first thing they're giving you is B is the midpoint of AC, C is the midpoint of BD, D is the midpoint of AE, CE, the length CE is given as Q and they want us to prove that AE is equal to 5Q over 3. Now, when you read this in one shot, it's crazy, it's chaos. There's letters everywhere. So what you do, the way you want to do, uh, the way you approach uh, solving proofs or doing proofs is you read the question once just to understand, uh, you know, what's coming at you, just to get an idea of what is coming at you. Then what you do is you go back and you take each point on at a time and draw the diagram if you want, if you need to, or think about the problem if you need to, uh, so you can break it down properly to deal with whatever you need to prove. So let's go to the first point. This is the first thing we're going to think about. B is the midpoint of AC. Now, I've done this problem once before with uh, just solving for it uh, in problem form, but uh, I'm going to do it again, going through the whole, all the steps to lay out the problem again. Okay? Uh, so B is the midpoint of AC. So what we're going to do is going to draw this. We need the line AC and we've got to put B as a midpoint. So we're going to go A and C. And B is the midpoint of AC, so we're going to put, pop this thing down right in the middle. Now there's our line AC with B as the midpoint. Now when they, see B as the, when they say B is the midpoint, they mean that B breaks this line in two equal parts. So this guy equals this guy. And what you should do whenever you're doing proofs or whenever you're doing problems is use symbols to remind yourself what each uh, part that you've already figured out is. So right away, visually, we can see that this line equals this line. We don't have to continuously go back to the problem to try to figure out what equals what. So make marks according to what you like, the type of marks you like, to say what line equals what. Ticks are easy way to do it. If you have two different types of lines, use double ticks. Okay, so this line equals this line, we dealt with this point. Then we're going to go down to this one. C is the midpoint of BD. We have C, we got B, we don't have a D. So C is the midpoint of BD. So D's got to be over here. And if this is the midpoint of these two guys, then this guy equals this guy, which means it equals this guy. So right away, you got three additional pieces of information by just going through two lines. D is the midpoint of BE. We have a D, we got a B, we don't have an E, so E's got to be way over there. So D is the midpoint, D is the midpoint of BE. So E's got to be here. Right? Now, if D is the midpoint of BE, now don't worry about if these things aren't proportional. What you know is that this guy is the midpoint between this guy and that guy. So what you do is you go, okay, this guy is equal to this guy. So we've dealt with this guy as well. Now this is a piece of information they're giving us. CE is equal to Q. Now where is CE? CE is equal to Q. I'm just going to move this guy up a little bit so our line doesn't go through it. So CE is equal to Q. What we've done right now is transferred the whole problem into visual form so we can deal with the question that they're asking us to prove this thing. So right now what you could do is step back and take a look at this stuff and figure out what you need to, what, what you need to find out. AE. AE. AE is equal to 5Q over 3. We have to prove this. This is what we need to prove, so we're going to have to start from one of these pieces of information. Okay. Now let's take a look. What are we going to start out with? Well, take a look at this. This guy is equal to this guy, but we don't know what this guy is equal to. So what we can do is, from this relationship, figure out what DE is equal to. Now if this is equal to this, then this length is equal to this length. And if we break this guy in two, put our own midpoint in there, you can call it W or anything you want, okay, 
then you know this length must be equal to this guy, and that length must be equal to that guy, and they're all equal, so you can just go tick, tick. So what you can do is say, breaking this down, write out your own proofs. Now, what you should be doing when you're breaking this stuff down is writing down the points. Now, AB, AB, now this is what you will write down as your solution. AB is equal to BC is equal to CD because of the midpoint property. Midpoint property. Property. Okay. Now these are the types of types of uh, things that you're going to get uh, marks for when you do the proofs. Okay. So that's your first point. This is your actual solution. Your actual proof that this guy is equal to this guy is equal to this guy because of the midpoint properties that we figured out in here. What we have here, we can say dw, you can introduce your own variables if you like. dw is equal to we, so dw is equal to we, which is equal to all of those guys above, ab, bc, and CD. And again, this relationship is the midpoint property. Whenever you do proofs, the way it works is you make a statement and you give the reason why the statement is valid. So that's your statement and these are our reasons why the statement is valid. So right now we've got all these guys. Well, all we have to do is figure out what each one of these equals to. Because once we do that, all we do is just multiply by five of these. Because there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. So how are we going to figure out what one of these guys is in a form that's in the question, in the proof? Now, in the proof, they're using Q. So we have to go back to Q. Now, we take a look at Q. We say, OK, how are we going to use Q? to figure out what each one of these is. Well, the length from here to here is Q. And this, this length is broken into three different segments. So each one of these segments must be Q divided by three. So what you can do is say, CD is equal to DW is equal to WE which equals Q over 3. Okay? What you can say for this is, this is given. Given and the midpoint property. Because you use the information that they gave you, and you use the information that you fit, that uh, the midpoint property relationship you use to figure out what each one of these segments was or what they equal to each other, okay? So now you have what each one of these is. And since each one of these is the same, then the links from AE, the links AE must be equal to one, two, three, four, five of these things, Q over three multiplied together. So AE is equal to five times Q over 3, therefore, AE is equal to 5Q over 3. And that's your proof. That's, that's the simplest proof you can go through. It's basically the way you should think about proofs is it's you laying down the thought processes that you're going through trying to figure out what something is, okay? So it's basically laying out what your thoughts are. And that's the power of proofs, because it allows you to uh, quantify your thoughts uh, in an orderly fashion that anyone coming up here would be able to follow and come up with the same answer, so they would understand it, okay? Now, this is two-dimensional proofs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, go into, actually, this is one-dimensional proof, sorry, because this is in one dimension. It's just on a straight line. What we're going to do, we're going to go into a two-dimensional proof. 
um, which is the x-axis and the y-axis, and deal with that, okay? And that's going to be coordinate geometry. This guy had no coordinates involved with it.